when you trust God completely, put everything in his hands, then you cannot be afraid. Trust is the antidote to fear. And we have to trust God and then we will feel safe. We'll experience the reality of safety. And we're only safe when we, re we experience the reality of safety. Because we can believe in anything and we can, we can give our life, life to Christ and give our, give our heart to God and still be anxious and still be worried. So we have to give up the worries, we have to give up the anxiety to feel safe. And then we are safe when you let go of the tension and fear which stops you relaxing and you let your heart relax, then you actually feel safe. And this is what we all need more than anything else. We need to feel safe. It's really important. If we don't feel safe, then we can't really do anything of any great use. We can't really get what we need because our primary need, the most fundamental need we have is to feel safe. It's the roots of the tree of our being. It keeps us grounded, it keeps us strong, enables us to expand. So our security, and feeling safe is vital, absolutely vital. So when we trust that God is protecting us, and of course our heart relaxes and we are not afraid, and we have to let our heart relax, we have to trust completely. Don't let a single little fear convince you in here to allow tension into your heart. Don't let even the smallest little fear convince you to act in fear, speak in fear, think in fear. Turn away from all those ideas of threat, all those ideas of fear. Turn away from them all. Know that they are lies. And turn to God. And speak to God. Even if you don't know or believe if God is there, be humble. Take a risk. Take a leap of faith and speak to God and see what happens. Because you don't want to be wrong. You don't want to refuse to speak out to this force which is actually there and wants to interact with you. If you refuse to believe that force is real and you, you cannot interact with it, you, cannot, you can't interact with something which you believe is not there. So you've got to find out if it's there. And you will find out because God responds to you. Again, after 15, 20 years of knowing God, coming closer and closer to God, through, um, through the process of spiritual illumination, not through reading a book or not through believing anything, but through the process of giving up my fear, trusting more, coming closer and closer to God, then I can tell you with complete authority that God is everything we're looking for, everything we need. He's our, he's our rock of safety. And we will feel safe when we trust God completely. And we don't listen to that voice of fear. We have to learn when that voice of fear is speaking to us and ignore it and stop looking any fearful information. Focus on God's promises. Focus on God's protection, providence, and let him fill you with joy. This is the antidote to misery and pessimism. Joy. Let God fill you with joy. There is no reason to be afraid, no reason to be negative. We can celebrate. We can be happy. We can be ah, so relieved. We should celebrate in relief. We should be so relieved that the threat is imaginary, that we can be uh, protected, or that we can realize the truth, which is the threat is imaginary and it's in here. So it's such a relief to realize that you've been imagining your own worst nightmare for a long, long time. And the media now is encouraging us to bring that vision right into the forefront of our mind and dwell upon it, dwell upon this uh, nightmare of darkness and suffering and misery and dystopia, blah, blah, blah. You know, zombies and aliens. The media hypnosis is so deep. And it's going to convince us of some very peculiar things if we're not careful. And it is convincing us. A lot of people. So it's all a theatre, all a theatre of lies to keep you in fear and to stop you being joyful, stop you being empowered by God. God empowers us with his joy. I think it says in Nehemiah in the Bible, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. So it's really important to allow joy to replace anxiety. Allow joy to replace worry about the future or you know, anxious feelings. 
we can replace everything that makes us feel weak with all the things that make us feel strong. It's really important to relax as well. It's really important to relax your body because tension actually weakens us. We think resistance makes us stronger, but actually tension, which is resistance by the way, when we resist something or intention, tension weakens us. It makes us stiff and rigid and cracks appear in our foundation. So it's very good, it's very important to be relaxed, open and trusting. Because when you trust, then you relax. Those two things go hand in hand. And when you're safe, you relax. So relaxation is at the core of all of this. When we relax, we trust that we're safe. And it enables us to experience God's protection. Because if we're trying to protect ourselves, then we won't experience His protection. If we're trying to make, convince ourselves in here that we're safe because of the X, Y, and Z, because we've you know, stockpiled food, because we've got a bunker in our back garden, blah, blah, blah. If we're trying to convince ourselves that we're safe because of those things, then we won't see God's safety, which is above all of these things. God can do miracles, and God will do miracles when you trust Him. Trusting in Him is the key, and relaxing, trusting that you're in His hands, and He will look after you, and He'll provide for you, and He'll protect you. So this is the message we need to remember every day, all day long, because if we keep looking at our screens, which I don't recommend, things are going to look a lot darker. The media will be showing you people giving up hope. It will be showing you people fighting in the streets. It will show you bloodshed. It will show you scenes of misery and extreme dystopia, terrifying things probably. Do not watch it. Do not let that poison into your mind because it's all hypnosis to get you believing in the darkness. You need to believe in the light and trust in the light, which is God. So, thank you for listening to this talk. I wish you well and God bless you.